An explosive boom shattered a quiet afternoon in Brainerd, Sunday, October 7th, and cut power to parts of the city. The blast, about 1.45, at the St. Joe's substation along Washington Street, sent a flash of flame and a plume of black smoke into the air. The substation is next to D&D Plumbing on the south side of Washington Street. Brainerd Public Utilities reported the force of the blast was so powerful it moved the switch, estimated at about 8,000 pounds or more, off its cement foundation. Oil was thrown into the air, splattering the sand outside the chain-link fence surrounding the high-voltage area. The boom was so loud, it brought many people out onto the sidewalks outside their homes. Children playing outside in North Brainerd neighborhoods ran and yelled for their parents. Lights flickered in West Brainerd in the Westgate Mall and went out altogether for parts of North and South Brainerd. Of particular concern was the power supply for the Essentia Health St. Joseph's Medical Center in North Brainerd, which relies on the substation. The force of the explosion peeled back the top of the metal housing on the switch, which is left to smolder. Power was back on at the hospital before 5 p.m., but homes in South Brainerd remained without power. Brainerd Public Utilities Superintendent Scott Magnuson said crews focused on restoring power to the hospital and were bringing in more help as they worked to get power back on for the government center for the county, Brainerd High School, and other points south, including the residences from Tamarack Street north to the substation. Magnuson said power was routed around the blown switch, and then a problem was discovered in the transformer itself, which crews were then working to locate. Power was expected to be restored to all residents by the end of the day. As of Sunday night, it was unclear what caused the explosion in the switch as crews focused their attention more on restoring power to affected areas of the city, but more was expected to be known on Monday. Brainerd Public Utilities crews inspected the damaged switch and worked out ways to restore power by going around it. They also put out the remaining fire inside the switch itself.